Joining us now to react is our hard news beat reporter and comedian on the couch, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, hey, hey. welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Great to be here. Were you surprised if Fetterman sensed subtle sense of humor here? Again? Well, and then, of course, George Santos playing a role? Well, I feel like Santos missed his life's calling because he could have a Broadway musical called Shamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Big money. Right. Big money in those hills. But it's funny that Fetterman can afford a cameo, but he still can't buy a suit. The right. one you've right. seen is the only one he owns. <laughs> can, but, you, go ahead. can you explain why uh, Manila? of New Jersey is still a U.S. Senator. Because the Democrats are morally bankrupt. The politics are always more important than the accountability. Okay, Menendez, this is his second indictment. Yeah. Let's not forget that. And I know I look like a guy who would smuggle gold bars, but the reality is, no, we should be all the way against this. Because you'd go to jail. Oh, I, I, yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. a Republican. Yeah. I'm going down. Yeah. <laughs> so not good. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think if the Democrats wanted to demonstrate some actual fortitude, they'd throw them out. Plus, there's only a one-seat advantage for the Democrats. Well, throw him out. New Jersey last time during the gubernatorial race came Within three votes that's of having right. a Republican right. governor. Well said. Thank hey, you. Hey, what about your book? Your book. Oh, let's talk too. about it. My goodness gracious! Available for pre-order today. Foxnewsbooks.com. The Cancel Culture Dictionary. The subtitle: An A to Z Guide to Winning the War on Fun. Why? Because <laughs> cancel culture, the era of weaponized censorship, has broken our compass. And we're now policing sources of joy for sources of grievance. People go to comedy to get offended. Mm -hmm. People watch movies to make sure the cast is diverse enough. But the whole point of these mediums was to escape identity politics and those torments. So the point of this book, it's not a dictionary. They just thought, if anything, I needed to read a dictionary at right. some point in my life. <laughs> After seeing the writing samples, they're like, Jimmy, dictionary. Uh, but every letter of the alphabet is something that got canceled, and I explain how it made life harder, not on the canceled celebrity, but on you and me, who are now living example. life. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a great example, okay? When they went out and canceled Aunt Jemima in the summer of 2020, mm -hmm. What did that do? So inner city schools are still failing. Okay, crime rates are still through the roof. But what, our pancakes aren't racist? No. Aunt Jemima's family that was getting royalty checks just got screwed out of them. Okay, so they screwed over a black family in the name of progress. And that's the point. The compass is broken. There was a San Francisco school district that wanted to take Abraham Lincoln's name off the high school. Kids were locked out of school. They weren't learning. But more importantly, we're going to rename the school. Mind you, my son's name is Lincoln. And from now on, whenever he's in San Francisco, he has to go by his middle name, O.J. And, uh, <laughs> you know, not easy. Right. So, Jimmy, why not wear that blazer on the cover? Now, let's be honest, okay? There are other people involved in the selection process. Right. And they weren't, although this is coming out around the holidays, yeah. they didn't want an author who was dressed like a North Pole pimp. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> to which I say, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, hold everything. Uh, where do you pre-order the book again? Foxnewsbooks.com. Right. right. This is a killer, and you better go read it. Like, you'll, you'll right. read this and walk away from it thinking you two could get a book deal. That right. matters. Uh -huh. That matters. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.